Hello everyone, this is King Kong Lee Automation Training Lesson 7 How to wire with the digital output So in this video, I will show you how to connect a load to the digital output part Because you can see there are A and B and usually we will have the used by the relay and uh, MOSFET So the relay is a mechanical version So that is controlling open and close And the MOSFET is controlled by electronic device so, in this video, I will show you what is different uh, between these two cases. And let's look at uh, this have uh, two cases. Uh, the first is the relay. You can see, uh, maybe have some relay on your PCB board. And the relay is very easy. Uh, maybe have a calm and normal open and normal close. And the simplest, you can see that just use a calm and normal open. So that we can control this load on and off. So you can see, if you use a relay, you can input uh, AC 220 volt into your load and also you can use this AC 110 volt to your load and also you can input, you can see, country 12 or 24 volt or other uh, volt uh, to your load It according to your relay requirements, you can see at here every relay will show at here what's max ampere and the max work voltage so you can check in your label a print on your relay and this uh, first is the relay so this is a mechanic uh, just a physical close and open so that will be very easy uh, use for AC load or use for DC load but the next you can see the second you can see the most fit the most fit is this electronic component that only control DC load, can't use for AC load so you can see, uh, we can look at, look at uh, to P3 board and you can see this one, that is A16 V3 board uh, you can see, uh, that is, this one is MOSFET uh, so it's 16 channel, so that have 16 MOSFET and this is output, you can see uh, this is a 1 to 8 chain output and this is 9 to 16 chain output uh, we, because these two output terminal is the same principle so we can uh, see only this one uh, 8 channel uh, this have a con this have Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4 until Y8 so we can look at uh, our power point so you can see this is a MOSFET uh, that is, this G is controlled by ESP32 pin and this one, you can see the D, it go to this load and the S, that means input your power supply uh, neither use the 12 volt, but also you can use this 24 volt let's look at the schematic of our King Kong A16 V3 board and you can see, uh, this is A16 V3 board and let's just look at the output circuit so you can see this have 16 channel MOSFET output and everyone, you can see every unit uh, because every unit is thin so we can look at this one this first channel, channel 1 uh, this have, uh, have a optical you can see, uh, this is controlled by ESP32 pin and this output and go to this MOSFET and this is just a LD uh, indicate uh, for the load so this Y1 uh, is output and this L, L you can see this L, L O that is input of power. You can, if you want control 12 watt load, so use this just input 12 watt. If you want control 24 watt uh, load, you just connect with 24 watt. And so this is a control unit. So you can see in our PowerPoint, uh, just this one. But this time you can see uh, that have 8 channel So you can see this 8 MOSFET have connected together Just the S is connected together uh, with this L Just this terminal L uh, Just this terminal L That's this one, you can see uh, Just this, uh, that have printed 12 watt But also you can use 24 watt So this is L, this is L And uh, and you can see it here uh, this is L 
And this y1, y2, y3, y4 until y8, that is output, uh, just uh, output to your load. So uh, this one, you can see y1, y2, y3, y4. So you can see this grid terminal is for user to use. So you need to connect with L and connect y1, y2, y3 to your load. Uh, maybe you have connect a DC motor and maybe you have connect a well. So you can connect any DC load uh, by this Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4. But this is very important that you can see these sections, how to connect your load to your uh, Y output, what current need to note, need to understand and how to, how to choose. Uh, because you can see this L that have connect with all S together. So this PCB PC board have a track that is L go to this or MOSFET. So you can see, if you use this green terminal, the max current is 10 ampere. So that uh, add this Y1, add Y2, add Y3, and until Y8, this total current must less than this terminal max current. Because you can see, that all have connected together with just only one L terminal port. So this current <coughs> is large because the eight MOSFET load current have connected uh, have together. So this will have a large current. So just make sure uh, this or Y terminal totally less than this current uh, because King Kong use this green terminal that have a max 10 ampere so you just less than 10 ampere uh, you can see for example uh, this MOSFET have 10 ampere version and another MOSFET have 4 ampere version so you can see if you A16V2 that is 10 ampere MOSFET max 10 ampere and you can see this is T64 and T32 and T16M and the T one hundred and two twenty eight M that board use this small MOSFET. You can see the MOSFET size is smaller. So this max is four ampere because uh, the, the sixty four channel is very uh, <laughs> a large number of this channel. So we want this board uh, become smaller. Uh, we will save your space of your power distribution box. So we have choose this four ampere MOSFET. But this is enough for you use because uh, this output to the terminal always contact always connect a contact DC contact, so the DC contact can control large current load. So this four ampere is enough. So you can see uh, this is very small, and this one ten ampere is very big. So this one that can drive your large current load DC load, and this one uh, just can drive your DC load uh, for low current. Uh, if you want large current, you can connect uh, externally or external DC contact. So you can see, uh, for, for example, the first one, you can see if you use this board, uh, max is 10 ampere MOSFET. So if Y1 is 5 ampere, Y2 is 2 ampere, Y3 is 2 ampere. So this added together, is 9 ampere, so you'd bet let your 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 uh, uh, don't connect any load. Just uh, make sure the max current is less than 10 ampere. Okay, you can, you can see if the second example that Y1 is 2 ampere, Y2 is 2 ampere, Y3 is 2 ampere, Y4 is 2 ampere. So this can add together is 8 ampere. So uh, make sure your Y5, Y6, Y7, Y8 have a smaller current, just not uh, greater than 10 ampere. And the next, you can see the three, the three case that is Y1 and until Y8, or is one ampere. So this can add together. Also is 8 ampere, so that is less than 10 ampere, it's also okay, no problem. So these have different compare this different current together. Just make sure you less than this terminal max current. Because uh, if you all load is turned on together, 
So this terminal, this L, have a large current. If you can make sure you all load will not turn on at the same time. So this can let some current uh, large, no problem. Just make sure uh, how, much, how many channel output will turn on at the same time, so you can calculate this uh, total current less than the max current. Okay, so this is important because we have designed this MOSFET channel uh, used by this thin common L terminal part. Uh, so just uh, make sure this uh, as this way uh, don't less than this this one. So that will be safety and security. Okay, this is how to use this digital output uh, for relay and for MOSFET. If you have any questions, you can leave a message to us. Thanks for watching.